Hello! Today we'll be demonstrating our latest product, LifeSys Education. Radiology residency programs are typically done in person, but COVID-19 has made it apparent that schools need to have flexible learning options. LifeSys Education is the only solution that is both simple and cost-effective to conduct remote radiology residency training. LifeSys Education was developed to overcome the physical limitations of a traditional on-site residency program by switching key aspects of learning online. So imagine I am a professor at a teaching hospital handling dozens of residents whom I don't actually get to meet often and certainly not at the same time. As a mentor, it's my job to train them on how to view images through pattern recognition, spot abnormalities, write reports and findings. I also want to review interesting patient cases with them. How do I manage all of these on top of my other duties? With LifeSys Education, I now have the ability to accomplish all of those things. I could log into LifeSys and it opens up to my default work list. This work list is a representation of a typical day of cases for me. Over here on this column is the RA field. From my work list, I can select the studies I want to include in the test set. Maybe I want to give a lecture on a CT abdomen and will later give an exam. So here, I'll select three CT abdomen studies and will note CT-ABD in the RA field. Now that I have selected the studies which are part of the exam, I can create a special work list to show only the cases I've labeled. I now have a work list that displays only those selected studies. Once this is done, I can click this training button and it opens up the training panel. I generate a test ID and will assign the cases I tag to that ID. You can see that there are three cases assigned. Great! I've created a test for my students. How do I collect their answers and grade them accordingly? I don't want to have dozens of students send me their answers in different mediums through different platforms. Their answers might not even be structured or organized, so it will take me forever to go through all that. There's actually an easy way to go about it with the active templates. So what I can do as a professor is to include the right answers for the cases. I'll go back to the training panel and make sure that I am creating the answer key to the correct test set. I'll open the report page. As you can see, it shows me the report page. Here is the test ID. Now, I'll pull up the image onto the viewer. I need to match the template selected with the image. Next, I will select a template to go with this study. Here you see a CT abdomen study. I'll pull out the template that I want my students to use. For this demonstration, let us say that this is a normal CT abdomen. The technique is CT of the abdomen and pelvis was performed. Visualized lung bases are unremarkable. The pleura and visualized heart appears unremarkable. Just go over and read the study. And when you're done, Click the Submit Answer button, and you've done with the answer for this study. Just go over and do the same procedure to the other studies. With LifeSys Education, you can actually grant all of them login credentials and allow them to access the software all at the same time. No need to take turns accessing the studies. They can even submit their individual answers to tests. Suppose now I was a student and my professor sent the class an email that read, I have a quiz for all of you about CT abdomen reading. Here's the test ID. Make sure to submit your answers by the end of day. As the student, I would open up Google Chrome, type in the URL to get to the login page, log in using my personal account and password. As you can see, it doesn't show anything until I actually enter a test ID, so let me do that. I'll just paste the test ID we copied earlier,
Now it shows the list of cases selected by the professor. The only difference is the status says testing. I'll start with the first case by clicking on the status. It opens up both the image in the viewer and the report page with the template automatically chosen by the professor for this particular case. I can select whatever I feel is the correct answer click Submit Result. This locks in my answer and I can no longer make changes to it. If we go back to the work list, the study status has now changed to Answered. So the first case is done, I can now move on to the next and follow the same steps until I finish answering all of them. It's as simple as that. What about the answers? How will I know if my report is correct or not? After everyone takes the exam, the professor may give permission to view the correct answers. That feedback loop is really important, especially for students. Now, going back to the professor, suppose it's the end of the day and I expect all my students have submitted their answers. I'll log into LifeSys and see their results. I'll need to open up the Training Options window to see all the tests I've created and click View Results or Export the Results to Google Drive if I want to save a copy outside the LifeSys platform. Now that everyone has answered, I can let them see the correct answers so they can review. You can see here the top shows the answer key which is done by the professor and all the submissions below that are from students. The professor will be able to differentiate what the student submitted from the answer of the professor. For example, the professor says that the lungs are within normal limits. The student answered otherwise. And that's it. I didn't even have to go to the hospital. My students can take the exam wherever, whenever. Everything is done remotely. I was able to conduct a test for dozens of residents, immediately provide them answers for that feedback loop, and assess them based on their performance. 